All right, guys. Got a package in the mail I've been kind of excited to get and watching for it from LC King Manufacturing. Now, um, like a few companies that I've done business with or started doing business with, I ran across these guys, uh, I believe it was on Instagram. Um, you know, ads will pop up in your feed. And uh, I guess they figure you have an interest or maybe you like something or maybe they just randomly throw them out there. But they had some pretty cool looking denim. Um, and so I went and checked out their website. They had a few things that I kind of liked, but they were out of stock. And I was checking back, checking back. And finally, I just messaged them. I was like, hey, are you planning to restock this? And uh, within a couple of days, actually, uh, actually, I think it was a couple hours, they responded and said, yeah, we just restocked it now, you know. So I don't know if that was a happy coincidence or if they were just kind of, you know, they hadn't gotten around to it or what. But um, got something in here. Let's check it out. So this is my unboxing, pretty bare bones, um, no bag, no special paper, okay with that, good jeans. Every item is guaranteed for the life of each item against failure or damage in its intended usage. So of course excluding general wear. So that's pretty cool. So I grabbed a pair of their, you know, if I ordered it, it's not going to be the height of contemporary fashion. I ordered a pair of their um, uh, raw denim carpenter pants. And uh, these things are pretty cool. Check them out here a little bit. Very dark, stiff denim. It's not super thick, not the thickest denim I've encountered. But it's nice. One thing I like about these, just to kind of show you some up close details, they don't have any rivets on them. And you might think, well, rivets are part of what make jeans jeans. And to a degree, that's true. But when you have these all these Telecasters sitting around here like I do, made out of soft pine wood, every little thing that rubs up on them creates a scratch or a dent or permanent finish damage. So um, rivets can be a liability in my household. Plus I've got this new pricey Gibson guitar here um, that I'm trying not to tear up either, you know? So um, probably could have got these in a longer length, um, but because a lot of times I cuff my jeans rockabilly style. And I'll probably still have to cuff these until they shrink a little bit, but I don't know. I figured I would try them my regular length. So anyway, um, Bristol, Tennessee, L.C. King Manufacturing Company, established 1913. I like that. I like old companies that have been around a while. Uh, I'm going to give these guys a try and see what I think of them. Um, I'll try to do a, oh, and I maybe failed to mention this, uh, Bristol, Tennessee might be a giveaway, but they are made in USA. It's on the front button too. Um, here we go. Made in USA. Hand sewn. So, um. I mean, I guess I could throw these. Let me throw these things on. Give me a second to step off camera. So, step back here a little bit so you can kind of see them here. They're pretty nice. They fit pretty well. I kind of hope they don't shrink too much because they're just about the right size in the waist and length. I've got maybe an inch or so here. 
they shrink too much, they won't fit. So I may message them about that to see if they're pre-shrunk or not. But they're sharp looking. They got these contrast uh, triple uh, stitching on. That's really cool. Classic watch pocket. We've got the ruler pocket over here. And the hammer. Hammer hanger. Yeah, I'm kind of excited about these. Um, I'll let you guys know what I find out. I'm going to message them and see if I need to expect these things to shrink with any considerable amount or if they're fairly pre-shrunk and they're going to stay more or less where they are. I hope that's hope that's true because they feel pretty good. They're comfortable. Uh, they're not too stiff and uh, they've got plenty of room in. Uh, I usually need a little more room in the the seat and the thigh. Um, and so uh, it's kind of nice. They fit nice there. Nice straight leg on them. It probably fit over cowboy boots if I still wore them. All my cowboy boots got ruined in the mildew uh, disaster. But they're nice. So check out LC King Manufacturing out of Tennessee and um, throw them some love and some support. Now they've got some regular uh, straight leg denim and different washes, I um, should mention. And uh, they also had a raw like salvage denim, which was also out of stock in my size. That was, they were like 180 bucks. These were, I think they were about uh, 80 bucks or so though. Um, shipped so not terrible yeah check out their site look around they got jackets all kinds of stuff so anyway i'm gonna peace out i don't have too much uh, too many more hours before bedtime i gotta work again tomorrow's the first of four in a row for me at the hospital so <laughs> sleep is is precious and few in the next few days uh much love to you guys and yours god bless you um and uh tell me about your favorite denim in the comments I'd love to hear what you're wearing, especially if it's made here domestically. Um, and uh, it's got some style to it, you know. I like that kind of old school 50s classic denim style or workwear style. So uh, if, you, if you know about something I don't, tell me and I'll check them out. Maybe even review it here. Take care.